And keep in mind, this material is rough. It was never intended to be, you know, final production material. So there might be missing uh, face animation and missing assets and things like that. Our first one is from the Armory. And what you're going to see is the original Armory set in its original form. And this is a story that we decided to take out because it didn't quite flow with, the, with how the game was working. So let's check it out. Chetsky, Crane 6, get it done. <laughs> wasting my damn time. Down here slumming, sir. What was that? Boys are getting riled up, Jim. We got a problem. Wonderful. This next one is, I guess you would say, the director's cut of a, a small scene from the cinematic card to play. And uh, see if you can guess why this one was cut. Our, our rating for this game was T for teen, so we couldn't show this in most countries. Let's do that again. <laughs> this was cut because Rainer was smoking. One more time. <laughs> Take special note of the little bit of brain that drops down inside of his armor. <laughs> oh yeah, in case you're wondering from that last cinematic or that last clip, that's why Warfield was flinching during that part. So, Okay, this next one was inspired by this piece of artwork. This came from one of the guys on the animation team. And uh, just a, a little bit of backstory. We work a lot of late hours, and we come up with some alternate ideas for the cinematics. So we were thinking, like, what if Rainer was so badass he could headlock a hydralisk and drop kick a zergling while a nuke is going off in the background? <laughs> Why not? So this this is a clip from the Marsarabar intro for Rainer. Um, the intro for the first in-game cinematic clip. So let's check out this alternate version. Overdrive. He and his ragtag band of miscreants have instigated open rebellion across six separate worlds and stolen vast amounts of dominion weapons and hardware. Mengsk is going to pay for what he did to both of us. I assure you, this criminal will be brought to justice. Very soon. It ain't over till it's over, son of a bitch. Adjutant, my troops ready yet? Your forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. It's about time we kick this revolution into overdrive. <laughs> All right, you guys remember Dr. Hansen from the single player campaign? Who here decided not to save Dr. Hansen in the single player campaign? Raise your hand. <laughs> All right, for those of you guys who chose not to save her, here is another late night animator idea that we came up with of a cinematic called Infested. Here's what happens to Dr. Hansen. Will you enjoy killing me like you killed my children? You're infested. Ha! You're dead already.
All right, for this next one, I just want to describe a little bit about how the guys on the cinematics team, on the in-game cinematics team, wore many hats. It's a small, elite ninja team of guys who have to do a lot of different jobs. And the team is um, very focused on story, and it's a very, very fast pipeline. Or what I mean by pipeline, I mean workflow. And there are assets moving through very, very quickly. So at one, one week, we had to show this cinematic to Nick, who's sitting right beside me, <laughs> and we were missing some characters. Uh, the, we didn't have models for certain characters yet. We had Valerian, we had Raynor, we had Warfield, but we didn't have Arcturus Manx yet. And we had to show something to Nick, and we were a little worried. So part of being an animator on the, on the team is you have to be very inventive. So here's what we showed Nick without giving any warning in, the, in our dailies meeting. Speaking of which, you might particularly enjoy this next step. Valerian. I just received a report. You've taken half the fleet. Care to explain yourself, boy? Father, I am about to accomplish that which you never could. Today, I will defeat the Queen of Blades and secure peace throughout the Dominion. By this act, the people will finally know that I am a worthy successor to you. I love your gumption, son, but you're in way over your head. What makes you think you have the experience? He ain't alone, Arcturus. Rainer. I don't know what gutter my son fished you out of, but even you've got to realize that that treacherous bitch cannot be saved. And neither can you. We'll see about that. And when this is over, you and me got a score to settle. I, I love that you guys spent more time animating the ball than you did Valerian or Rainer. Yeah. <laughs>